Hello friends at Sea I Lift Off. It is Saturday morning. I'm on my second cup of coffee. I'm exhausted. I had seven days of work at school and basically I spent seven days going, this won't work, this won't work, that won't work. Can't figure this out. That's gonna be stressful. That'll be a crappy experience for the kids at home and they're gonna hate Spanish class and they're gonna drop it and I don't want them to drop it. <sighs> anyway. Um, for some background, my school, I teach high school. Um, I teach Spanish one and two. My school has decided to do a rotating block schedule. So like I'll have on, let's call we have them where they're red and white days. So on red day, I'll have half of my period, my first period in person and the other half is online. And then on the next red day, they flap. So then I'll have the online kids in person and then the in-person kids will be online. And I also have 100% remote kids. And I think this is a really important note. My school is allowing the students to bounce around between in-person and 100% remote um, with a 48 hour notice. So I kind of can't create like a whole online curriculum because kids are gonna be bouncing around and then it just, anyway, I didn't want to do an async approach this year. I did it in the spring. It worked wonderfully. But I just feel like because the kids are going to be in all sorts of different places, it's going to be way too much work for me to be asynchronous. So I'm going synchronous this year. I've been trying to figure out how to do it. And again, as I said, I keep finding all these holes and things that aren't going to work. But I think... I finally figured something out. Now, again, I'm super bougie. Um, I wanted to make sure I had good tech this year because we only have Chromebooks as teachers at my school. And like, we all know Chromebooks, they're wonderful for what they can do. But like when I need to be doing a bunch of techie things, they don't work very well. So I went out and I bought myself an iPad Air. I know. And then I was extra bougie and uh, I went and bought an Apple Pencil because I thought I'll be able to take notes. It'll feel like I'm really writing on the board. I'll be able to like save them as notes for my kids. I don't know. I, I just thought that this is a necessary expense. So I, I did spend the money. It was a lot of money. Anyway, I think after playing around with a thousand things, I think I finally figured out what I'm gonna do. So a lot of you have been playing with Google Jamboard and I wanna show you what I've been doing in Google Jamboard. All right, so I have made a daily slide that is gonna walk the kids through what we're doing. Because again, when you're online, you're exhausted. I think kids are really gonna to need to see where we're going. Um, I think it'll really help my students in class too be like, why the heck are we spending all this time talking about this picture? You know, like they're seeing what we're doing. All right. And I'm, I kind of gave it more kid friendly language for the, the different parts of the daily learning, uh, the daily framework. I, I may play with that a little bit, but that's what I'm using right now. I think anyway, so there's this really cool thing called sidecar. I'm going to connect to my iPad here. And then when I look down at my iPad, I literally see exactly what is on my board, or not on my board, on my, my computer, my MacBook. And it's important that you hit this mirror built-in display because that's how you do it. And I can, from my iPad, I can actually do everything, which is super, super cool. Hola, right? Cool, right? I think this is fantastic. I even have this, you know, pointer. So when we're doing reading, I can do, 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 do. All right. So then I was like, how do I get this onto the projector at my school? Because I can't connect my MacBook to my projector because my projector is only connected to the PC that doesn't have a webcam and it's also in the back of the room. So I can't even like sit at the PC and like type. Plus all my kids are in the front of the room. I want them to see me. I don't want them to see me just on, bear with me. So what I have decided is I'm gonna be using Zoom, of course. My kids at home are gonna log into the Zoom. 
So I guess that was a good point for it to break off. I totally forgot that um, screencast is a five minute limit. Good to remember now. So this is what I've decided I'm doing. In my classroom, I'll log in on the PC to the Zoom call as a participant, all right? My MacBook is the host, okay? So on my MacBook, I'll log in to my new meeting, right? And this meeting, oh, and another really good tip, log in using your phone audio. That way your kids at home will actually have a crisper, uh, more continuous um, experience with your what you're saying, um, especially if you're like my school, it's a huge school, and I'm not really sure that the tech's actually going to support all of us all using Zoom all at the same time. So that's a really great backup. If there's any lag, they won't lose your audio. Okay. So again, remember, my screen here looks look, it's kind of cool because it's like a me and a me and a me and a me and a me. Um, my iPad is this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to share screen. Again, looky here, it's the same thing. All right. And then I'm going to open up Google Jamboard. All right. So now my kids at home, again, this video down here is just there because I'm in a, maybe I'll do this yeah, so it'll not feel so weird. There's not two of me. So my kids at home, are going to be able to see me in class because I'll sit in front of my MacBook in the front of the class, in front of my students that are there. And my kids in class will see this screen on the projector because my computer in the back is projecting as a participant what is happening, which is gonna be wonderful because when I'm like, can you see my screen? I literally can just look behind me and I'll see what the kids at home see, verbatim. It's perfect. All right. So now, as we do our daily chats or whatever, I can take notes. So the first day, I'm going to be talking about myself because I want to model how someone talks about someone. And I'm doing it in the third person because I really want to hit all these super seven verbs as much as I can. So profe, whoop, I'm on the pointer, profe Hopkinson es una profesora. All right, so the kids at home are seeing me right in the video. The kids uh, and the kids in my class are seeing me right. We're all talking. Well, I'm talking. Kids are listening. I can be like, all right, so y'all had Spanish last year. What does S mean? It is perfect, perfect. What do you think profesora means? I can have this whole conversation, right? So I can add more slides as I need. Like you can do all of this. And then when you're done, you can simply download as a PDF. So all of your kids will have a copy of the notes the exact same way you wrote them, which we all know science shows is better for recall, retention. And when you have better recall and better retention, uh, your, your, your self-confidence goes up. And when your self-confidence goes up in a language class, it's easier to acquire a language because your affective filter has now dropped, right? Oh my goodness, all of these learning theories all coming together, right? So what is also really cool is you can change the background of this stuff. So now, wow, it looks like a piece of paper. So when you get to write and discuss or shared writing, you can be like, all right, kids, so let's summarize what we talked about. You don't have any of the text there for them to reference, but now you can be like, what did we talk about? Oh yeah, profe, oh, I'm gonna have to go back to that pen. Profe, ache es una profesora. Da, 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 da. And then as you do your shared reading, you can be like, all right, kids, follow what I'm highlighting. Profe, H es una profesora. Now, when you do your shared translations, teacher, Parkinson, is a teacher. All right. And you can also be like, hey, have you ever heard any other words for profesora? Oh, yeah. A lot of teachers use maestra. They mean the same thing, same thing. They're synonyms, right? Anyway, I feel like I finally found my hack and I wanted to share my hack with all of you because I know a lot of you are stressing out as well. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this gave you a sense of calm and I really want to get a kickback from 
Apple because, oh my goodness. Um, but I'm joking that I really want to get a kickback from Apple because like a couple teachers at my school have already went out and purchased these things because I'm like, I know this is going to work. I just have to figure out the hack. And I figured out the hack. Okay. I don't know what's, I have like Zoom. I have so many things up right now. It's stressing me out. But if you have any questions, feel free to DM me. Um, and I wish you all a wonderful year. I know this is going to be the most stressful year of everyone's teaching career, probably. And remember to sleep. Remember to sleep. While you're sleeping, you know this. Your brain cells and your body cells have the opportunity to recover and regenerate and renew so that you can be a better person tomorrow and like live longer. So make sure you're getting sleep and taking care of yourselves this year, friends. It's going to be a rough year. Set those boundaries and expectations. Let your kids know, hey, I'm not checking email after three. Like, Be clear, be strict, and take care of yourselves. All right, friends. I'll talk to you later. I hope this was helpful. Ciao.